Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for September 27th of 2024 is titled Stellar Streams in the Local Universe. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a set of pictures and in fact, 20 different galaxies that we're looking at. And they're all put together here, you can see the galaxy image in the center. But then the background around it has been inverted. So instead of being light stars on a dark background, it is dark stars on a light background. And this makes it much easier to see some of the very fine faint detail that might otherwise be missed. So what we're actually seeing here are tidal streams around these galaxies. And finding them around so many galaxies means that these are not unusual. In fact, we see these around our own galaxy as well. And you can see a lot of faint, faint streams of material scattered around these different galaxies. Now, while the patterns are all different, these all have the same cause. These are caused by the larger galaxy consuming smaller galaxies. And as those galaxies, okay, occasionally pass too close to the lar larger galaxy, tidal forces will rip the galaxy apart. And in the long run, it will eventually become incorporated in with the larger galaxy. And we would no longer see these streams. So over time, over hundreds of millions of years, or even a billion years, the galaxy would then settle back down. But galaxies, including our own Milky Way, are doing things like this and are consuming small companion galaxies that are orbiting around them. Now, we do believe that this is how galaxies have grown in time. But trying to learn more about these really tells us more about and helps us to refine our models of galaxy formation and how galaxies have evolved from very small galaxies that existed shortly after the Big Bang to much larger galaxies that exist today. Now, certainly just absorbing small galaxies would not cause them to grow quickly, but Long ago, gal galaxy collisions were much more common. So we were seeing this a lot more and there were more collisions and even collisions among larger galaxies as they continued to combine. So here we see part of that study really trying to better understand how galaxies work and how common things like this are. And as we're beginning to see the collisions between galaxies are actually quite common and occur all over the universe. And we see that here in a number of these pictures. As we look at the galaxies and just these 20 galaxies, we can see that each one of them has a significant tidal stream, meaning that it has disrupted a companion galaxy at some time in the relatively recent, at least galactically speaking, past. So that was our picture of the day for September 27th of 2024. It was titled Stellar Streams in the Local Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Eclipse at Sunset. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.